Hello friends, so this is your new question. Try to understand this question. I will count till 5 and pause the video and try to understand this question. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, I think you would have come up with the answer by now. Let's look at the answer. Answer is 1. Okay, so compilation error is not there. It is 1. And why it is 1, I will explain. If you know answer, check out the next video. And if you don't know, stick to this. So, this small is less than big. So first of all, I will just remove the confusion from here. This is 1 and this is 2 and this is 3. So if something like this is there, I will just compile and show whether it is working or not. Yeah, it is working. So this 1, 2, 3 is there. Now how compiler is compiling this whole thing? Compiler is, is doing like this. 1 is less than 2. Yes, it is true. It will return true and true is nothing but 1 here ok is this true 1 is less than 3 yes it is true compiler will again return 1 here and that 1 is getting initialized here and you are printing you are getting that yes ok so this 1 less than 2 less than 3 ok let's suppose it is like this so what is the answer can you guess it I know you can guess it if you got correct output by the end you can comment out okay so 1 less than 2 this will always return 1 here 1 is greater than 3 no it is not then 0 will get returned so whenever you compare something there is some conditional or some comparison operator is there or something like this is there like if 1 is equal to equal to 1 okay or I will write like 0 is equal to is equal to 0 yes it is true so once this condition is checked compiler returns either 1 or 0 ok so in this situation 1 will come here ok and 1 is means true you can go inside this if loop sorry if condition here ok if it is 0 you are not allowed ok so if it is like this 0 is equal to is equal to 1 no it is false in case of false 0 will get a return here ok and if it is 0 you cannot come inside ok the same is applicable to loops also like if you have while loop here and if you have 1 is equal to is equal to 1 then in that case it is always 1 means it is always true so this will get compiled and 1 will come here ok and 1 means true I already told 1 means true here so I will just simply write also true is equal to is equal to 1 and false is equal to is equal to 0 ok so if it is true 1 will come here if it is false like if it is this 1 is equal to is equal to 0 no it is not so in that situation false will come here and false means 0 ok so we will check that what I was writing here before it was 1 less than 2 greater than 3 ok so once we'll compile this we'll get this zero okay why because one less than two yes it is true in true case it will return one here one is greater than three no it is not so in that situation zero will come here and zero is getting assigned to this k and we are just printing that k here okay i think it is clear if you have any doubt please comment out i'll be very happy to answer that